Another week and another, another competitive drive story. And speaking of former Shocker Joe Mitchell, Chris, you actually sat down with him today. You know, that's right, Kendra. It's been quite the basketball journey for Mitchell, but after nine years, it's all coming full circle. This is where you'll find Joe Mitchell. Get loose, get loose, get loose, get loose. On the hardwood at Southeast High School, leading his team through practice. How many missed layups? Two, two missed layups. As the head coach of the Golden Buffaloes basketball team, a team he once starred on a decade ago. If I remember correctly, didn't lose too many games. Um, my junior year, we was fortunate enough to win state. And so began his whirlwind trip through the college basketball ranks. I went to junior college, played at Hutchinson, TC. I ended up going to Ohio University. And at Ohio University, I stayed there for about a summer, which is a quarter. Uh, I summer and kind of some months. Came back because uh, due to homesickness. His trip back home landed him at Wichita State for the 2011 2012 season, a year he sat out playing under head coach Greg Marshall. It wasn't until his fourth school that Mitchell was able to shine on the court in 2014. Ended up at Friends and probably had the best season of my career. I was uh, actually National Player of the Year at the NAIA level. I averaged 32 points a game. That's the highest in the nation at that time for any level. While most people might have given up along the way, Mitchell pointed to his support system for helping him keep his dream alive. My mother didn't give up on me. Uh, I honestly wanted to give up as I felt coming home from WSU was kind of like division one or bust in a sense. In my mind, I never dreamed of thought about playing in high basketball. And now back where the dream all started, it's that kind of attitude he tries to instill in his players. The more shots you get up, the better chance you got to win. What a story. Yeah, I know. And, you know, he started out really well. He's won his first two games as head coach of Southeast. Yep. They beat East and they beat Bishop Carroll. All right, Chris, thanks.